ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Today we are checking out the Hong Kong PSN network because there is a sale on, as you can see. Look at it. There's a lunar sale. It's on until like the 8th, 9th of February. So we've only got a couple more days left of this. It's to celebrate the, the new year. It's uh, the year of the rooster. You've seen the videos I did for the uh, Overwatch thing. That year of the rooster thing isn't just an Overwatch thing. It's, of course, the new year. Any new year. Year of the rooster. Yeah. So um, we've got some games to take a look at. Specifically, uh, there's a few games that I purchased on the, my Hong Kong account because they're unavailable anywhere else. Uh, kind of like the way I did with Icy and with uh, Starry Night. There's games that you just can't get in other, st like in other parts of the world. Uh, specifically, I'll show you which one it is. And uh, since you it's announcement to say that I'm going to be playing a few <laughs> episodes of this back to back, maybe for future episodes of new made in Japan or just specifically to have separated off into its own series. But let's take a look at the seal and see what items are in it. I'm going to hit the newest first and take a look to see what's in here. So, um, the pricing wise, I mean, I pay for a PSN on or the PlayStation Plus on the Hong Kong store because it is the cheapest out of all of them. Essentially, it's like $24, $26 for an entire year. So, it's well worth its purchase just for the uh, alternate titles alone in the PlayStation Plus, which I had to find out for the month of February because I haven't seen them yet. But as you can see, uh, the prices are damn good. I mean, you're getting games that have been recently released. Thanks, Steve. Steve. Is that actually with... Oh, that's just I was looking there for a second. I thought that was just the game for the dirt cheap. But um, things like Steep, Crew, Rainbow Six, Final Fantasy XV, all, all recent titles on a really reasonable kind of like discount of about 10, 20, 30 percent. But the one that actually caught my attention, um, <clears throat> outside of the VR stuff, even, because I just don't have a VR headset yet to play them, uh, it was, where is it now? Oh yeah, World of Final Fantasy, well worth a play. And took it in Kawami 2, worth a play. <clears throat> where is it now? I've actually had to go through this. And for people who are actually into Idol Master, there's a Japanese version of it. For a reduced price, but the being one for me was and is why is it take me so long to find it here on the main screens? Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. Well, there it is. There, Dead or Alive Extreme Three. Yeah, they're <laughs> expecting something amazing. <laughs> they were expecting a game that would uh, change your mind about worldwide culture and. By depth? No. It's boobs. That's what this game's about. Boobs. The Dead or Alive Extreme series is uh, the volleyball series based on the Dead or Alive fighting games with the characters from it on an island, bouncing around, playing volleyball, having fun, and hanging out in a casino. It's been a long run series. I was a big fan of it back in the early days of the original Xbox. Uh, the original uh, Xbox version of it was just good fun. Whenever it came out, it was a bit cheesy and weird. The uh, second one to come out was... A lesser game. This one is an even lesser game itself. It really has just been reduced down to actually being just like it's boobs hanging around on a beach with boobs. The um, it's also twenty six dollars. It's like dirt cheap for the purchase of it, and it's one of those games that you cannot get in the USA or EU. So if you're looking to actually get a little bit of boobs in your life, then you can always feel free to jump across to the Hong Kong network and pick it up. But like I said, this is going to be uh, a game that I'll play a few episodes of with different characters on uh, the channel here for a couple of stream sessions and probably for a couple of episodes later on. So um, make free sure to check it out whenever it comes up on the channel. It's just a quick announcement to actually go and check out the Hong Kong store. You can see there are some decent games that are on a decent price. Normally I would go through these and actually like give out my opinions on each game, but uh, I've noticed that it was actually like those videos would go on too long. Most people weren't worried about watching them. So yeah, I'll just cut this short and just say make sure to call back again soon to check out some Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball 3 and I will see all you dudes in the next episode. Bye.